Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome to Let's Play Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. So this is a, an interesting game that I've just found out about. It's basically like Mountain Blade, but in modern times. In fact, it's almost exactly Modern Blade, but in modern times. You can tell it's probably basically a straight-up copy, but it looks pretty cool. Oops, my phone fell. I'm sorry about that. But it looks pretty cool anyway. So uh, let's hop in here. It actually has a flag import that you can do, so I've actually brought my Light, Fi Light Furion flag in. It needs some work because, like, it has to fill out this whole space, but my flag is a little bit too narrow. Uh, no, I have to redesign the flag to actually make it fit in a space like this. I also have the same problem with Kerbal Space Program. My flag is just not big enough. But I'll do that some other time. We will call it faction named Lightfire and start. I don't think there's a whole lot of character customization quite yet. So our character will look fairly plain. Uh, what are we going to name this boy? John Freeman. Hey, it actually fits the... I didn't even think about the fact that it fits the game name. It's just that ongoing joke, you know. John Freeman, who was Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in office typing on a computer. Alright, what other hairstyles we got here? Most of them are, like, ridiculously perfectly cut. I can't rotate them to, like, see. It's kind of balding a bit. And then some of them are just very non-military haircuts, but... The only one that kind of is, I don't like that much. This guy's face is, like, demolished. We have war paint, darker skinned... There should be a separate slider for body and stuff, but perhaps that will come later. This isn't like an early al uh, early alpha state. We'll call that John Freeman. Alright, so I've actually not played it. I've only just seen it played, so let's take a moment here to acquaint ourselves with what we're looking at. So I think it is like Mountain Blade in that time doesn't move unless we move. So we got food, we got fuel, we got money. Salary, I'm guessing that's what we need to pay out to our troops. This game's volume is just a little bit too high at all times, it seems. Because I've already lowered it down to 1%. No, don't do that, please. Yeah, I already, moved, I already lowered the music down to 1%. It's just a little bit too loud, so we gotta go into Windows itself. Crank it down a little bit. Yeah. Crank it down a little bit more. Alright, we'll call that good enough. So let's see, quests. We have no quests. I think we get these from uh, cities. Party is the main thing we want to look at here. If we had vehicles, this is where it would tell us how many vehicles we need to make the whole squad move fast enough. But right now we have 11 people and no vehicles, so we just have our limited speed. This is our single squad that we have right now. We have 11 people and we have two... I think this is a leader and this is not. And of course none of these are leaders either. We could always make a new squad. Actually I can. Oh, what should we... Should we have any theming to our squads? I guess we'll call this, like, Beta Squad. Alpha. Let's see, how do we... Can't click and drag. Okay, we have to click and then let go. Okay, so the leader characters, they can actually have their uh, equipment customized. Actually, I have to right-click them, which doesn't really make sense. It should be a regular click to bring that up and click and drag to move them around. Maybe they'll change that at some point. It'd be an improvement by my book. And then we'll also add just 
that's going to take a long time to get used to. But let's not click and drag. We'll drag her just a couple of other people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's not intuitive at all. Try to just balance these teams. One squad of six that doesn't have a leader, and then a squad of five that has a leader. That seems fair to me. I don't have any weapons or stuff to give her yet. We don't even have any weapons ourselves, which is going to be... It's going to be interesting once you see it, because we have all these people pimped out with rifles and stuff. you think we'd have a good chance, but... You're going to be shocked to see, if we go to our inventory, that we have a pistol. Alright, that's all we got. Let's go. No, no, I'm joking. But yeah, we only have a pistol, as far as guns go. Um, obviously, probably going to want to bring more with us. I don't think we get weighed down by carrying more. It doesn't look like it. So bring the med packs with us. Or bring the nades with us, just because there's no reason not to have other stuff in our inventory right now. Since our only chance in hell of killing anything is going to be spraying and praying with a pistol. Gonna take all the pistol mags with me. And we can also assign our points. And I've learned that we should start with intelligence because intelligence increases our XP gain. 10% each point, so we're gaining 50% more XP every time. And we also got a, a crap ton of uh, assignable skill points here. Which we're probably willing to put into a couple of looting so that we can actually find the gun. That'd be extremely nice. Warp map speed increase. If we even do this one time, that would be pretty helpful, I think. I know we also need commanding. What does instructor do? Eh, I don't think that's quite as important. Inventory, medical, I think is pretty important. Increases the healing speed by a bit. Reduces the death rate of our soldiers, but it's only 5%. Rating benefits by 5%. Put a point there. What about navigation? It's 8 extra inventory slots. Yeah, we're going to want that at some point here. Might as well get it now. Scroll wheel doesn't work here. Hopefully the developers will get on stuff like that. Like I said, very early alpha indie game company, so I don't have the highest expectations in the universe. Uh, as for guns, I don't really know what we're going to use yet, so I think I may just save our points. I've seen someone use the pistol with zero points and still... You're surprisingly good with the pistol. Which is weird because a lot of the other guns seem to be like extra realistic, but the pistol it seems like you can engage people from much farther away. Info! These are the various factions that are fighting. There isn't really a story as far as I know to this game. So it's basically the idea is that we're in some kind of country that's in tur turmoil. And there's all sorts of factions that are like guerrilla forces and uh, militias and terrorists and looters are all just all fighting for this countryside. But right now the only ones who hate us are the Uman Brotherhood. I'm pretty sure they are just terrorists. And then everyone else doesn't care about us. They're just various factions, but as far as I know there's nothing that's like an actual... Like, it doesn't even have any descriptions here. I don't think any of these nations are actually, like, an authority. I think everyone is just militia forces. Oh my god, that has an assault car in it. I don't think we're ready to take on an assault car with our pistol. Even with, uh, having it heavily outnumbered with people. What's this little town? Doesn't have any anything above it. We'll want to just fight looters to start with here. Yeah, it's looters. Except we're very slow. 
Could have gone for that other group, but this one's smaller. Come on. I think they might be trying to... Oh, uh, they just got bigger. I think they were trying to run from us, but they just got bigger, so that's... I'd rather fight with these guys if they're still here. And see what we can't take on, like, these actual larger teams. Well, this guy might actually be, like, an actual army. Whoever this these people are. It's the one with a stripe on it. Three Cossacks army? They might be, like, the actual nation. There we go. What do you want? Don't bother us. Prepare to die. Alright. So this is the direction they're coming from, and here's where we're at. Uh, can we, like, rotate the map? Doesn't seem like it. We can just go back and forth. We can zoom in and out, though, with the scroll wheel. wonder why Beta Squad doesn't have an icon. Put that there. Alpha Squad. Over here. See if we can figure out how to actually give move orders. Uh, da, 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 da. As far as I knew, I thought the people I had seen play this just clicked and dragged to actually make them move, but, uh... Is there hot? Oh, okay, that was very loud. I was concerned about that, too. I figured these would be pretty loud. I do want hit markers. Morning mode, night vision, quick save, info window, party window. That's not in game though. Strategy map is M. Problem is there, the enemies are going to start advancing on us while we're trying to figure this out. I want. Try it all, I'm trying to control. Why did that work now? It's double click. Why in the world would it be double click? Okay. Okay, how do we pull our weapon out? One? Alright. We've already found the enemy, which is well, our. Our leader was already knocked down. We ran out of sprint juice. So this game is like extremely realistic. Other than like poor graphics and stuff, but like the bullet damage is incredibly high. And actually we're gonna need to change my game mode on my monitor a bit so I can see a little bit better. As you can see, we're gonna have a bad time with our pistol here. I need to get out of the habit of reloading, because I think we actually lose our bullets. Oh hey, we hit him that time. Hit him? Ah, I reloaded even though I shouldn't. Okay. Hey, I hit him. Yes, we could get closer, but like I said, bullet damage is extremely high. So if we expose ourselves... Could be in bad time. I'm gonna try to strafe a little bit here. Mouse sensitivity is a little bit high, actually. Yeah, 
there's like a bunch of them up there. If they actually do get their sights on me, they'll kill me pretty quick. Because they have, they have like AKs and stuff, I have this pistol. Let's try something else here, let's uh... Shoot, I don't know how to go prone. Because it's not keys that it should be. No, not me menu. Settings. What's prone? Prone needs to be C. I appreciate that Crouch is control, because a lot of games aren't doing that anymore. They've been trying to put it on C. But, uh... uh shoot, the game glitched out there. So now prone should be nothing. Yeah. Get that done. Crouch, and we'll go to map. We need to move our people up. Uh, Alpha squad. I'll proceed with caution, please. Then, Beta squad. This way. As you can see, it's going to be a bad time until we get better than a pistol. Hey, I killed one! I killed one! Like I said, even with as hard as it is to kill these guys with a pistol, it's still easier than it actually should be. Oh god. They're rushing me. Oh god. I'm gonna strafe, even though that's not really realistic either. I gotta get out of the habit of reloading. I've been playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Oh, we got killed. That's what I was telling you about. The bullet damage is really high, so even though we had a decent amount of health. Uh, hopefully our allies can gain. Zero XP gain. During combat. Let's do the battlefield. I think we can just go right back in. All right, now that we know how to deploy people. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no way to like rotate people, rotate squads around. They're gonna have an uphill advantage over here, huh? Yeah, okay, beta squad. I'd like you to charge. Who? This position. Alpha squad. To charge. That way. Alright, and also we're out of health, so we have to figure out how to use our medkit. X is alright, because that's also the healing key in Black Ops 4, so hopefully I can keep that in mind, even though I'd like to press M for medkit, but obviously the map's more important. Okay, I think our other squad here needs to turn. Come over this way. Oh god, now the clear waypoints. Charge this way. Uh, 
eventually we'll get armor and then we're not gonna die quite as quickly. I might be over advancing here. Hopefully our allies have them distracted. Okay, we won anyway. We've done it. Oof. Five to four, though. Not the best win. But it's a win. Various junk and some ammo and some, uh, a couple things that we can use for armor, which will help with just a tad. And we can imprison some of the enemies. And there we go. Let's see. Is there a way to heal her other than just like resting? Up her health and accuracy by spending a hundred of something. This guy's ready to level up. Button presses. The button presses are a problem. All right. As for us, we'd like to see these armors we got. We got seven and fifteen. Seven armor, fifteen camouflage. Seven armor. And of course, we'd rather have this camo. Now we actually somewhat look like a soldier, except we're going to ruin it by giving ourselves a uh, bandit mask. Brown leather jacket has seven armor. How is she looking? Hers has eight armor. Oof, heavy losses here. So we have a looter. He has 12 compliance. I think they have to be up to like 100 to join. Persuade to join, I think, is just automatically trying. Propaganda, but he didn't pay attention. Alright, if you're not going to listen to the propaganda, you're going to get tortured, son. As far as I know, there's no reason to not torture people. Maybe it drops morale now. But as I've seen other players just constantly torturing people with no repercussions. However, this isn't really going to work for us the way we're doing things right now. Okay, don't have any guns? Okay, you do got guns. Okay, 74M. Oh, I need marksmanship for like any of these, huh? Could just grab a car 98. Ye old fashioned. Got high level velocity. 6-2, as long as I could hit someone, they should die. I've seen someone else use a Masinka, and it's not that great, at least not in this game. I think in the car 98. Let's see, I don't know. I don't know what kind of stuff we need to hold on to. Obviously, we need to hold on to food. We need gas if we needed to, uh, if we had a vehicle. But as far as I know, I don't need the, that. Fire can be used as a gift, so maybe I'll want to gift our lighter to the lady. But these things, we don't need them. I don't think there's a use for walkie-talkie. Do we need the tent? It started us with a tent, but there doesn't say that we need it. I'm not gonna melee people, that seems bad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we actually need versus what's... I don't know. Cost most of our money. 
but maybe it'd be, just be, be better to get soldiers. Oh god, they cost everything that I have, though. Well, them are not quite as bad as the others, but... Oof, these guys were the cheapest here. All they got is pistols, though. I think they're actually supposed to be good. I think I remember someone saying that FCA, FCA guards are good. I think... Oh, I didn't actually get everything sold here. Do, do, do. Okay. Give me the car 98. There's 30 rounds in each of these. I don't think the car 98 is going to take. I wonder how that works. I wonder if you just have to pay a higher price. Or something that's just gonna run out of ammo very quickly. Buy a couple. Buy several. <laughs> Alright. So let's go to my inventory. Guess we'll keep the pistol as backup. Is this pistol ammo, or will this be ammo for anything? Let's find out. Yeah, specifically pistol ammo. So I can stay, I guess. Still have a combat knife. I thought I sold the combat knife. Do 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 do! This may be a short-lived run. Just because we're still learning how to play here. And we've already died once. I don't know what it takes to actually die, die, though. There might not really be a way. Other than running out of money, I suppose, and then not being able to fight anyone. I don't know how often that we can try to torture prisoners. But we need to rest in the hotel. I don't know how we can find out how healthy our party is. We don't want to fight at night time, so I might want to just rest until morning. Since I'm going to do that, uh, we're going to call it a night.